Hey, what's going on, guys? We're doing a debt service coverage ratio calculation here. I'm going to explain how to do it, some nuances. Um, before I get started, remember to check out smarthelping.com for more templates. Every single model I've done that's a financial model or startup model here has uh, the debt service coverage ratio in it. And let's get into it here. So debt service coverage, real simple. It is your total revenues less operating expenses equals your net operating income or EBITDA earnings before interest tax appreciation amortization and then whatever your debt service is here and real simple calculation let's say period one whatever period it is Let's uh, spell this right, U-E-S. Okay, so let's say you have 500000 in revenue. Let's say you have operating expenses of 25000 I will say 250000 Note, in this calculation, we are not counting depreciation expense, interest, amortization. These are just operating expenses, cash items that hit in the period, and the point is we need to see how much of your uh, op what proportion of your operating expenses are or I mean operating income is available to pay debt service. So it has to be all um, it can't be depreciation because depreciation is a non cash item. So here we got net operating income minus the revenue minus OPEX. Let's say debt service is one hundred fifty thousand. Now, the reason why banks like this is because they want to know if you, your business is generating enough cash flow from its operating activities only to pay its debt service. That means you need a number greater than one. Debt service coverage, or debt service, and then debt service coverage ratio. Here it is. It is total NOI or EBITDA divided by debt service cover, or I mean, debt service. In this case, it's one. Here, you're making just enough money to pay off your debt service. Now, if your debt service was, um, wait, what? Oh, this is hold on. This is one because I I did a formula for it. Uh, I don't know what your debt service is. You ha you'd have to put it in here, but let's say it's 150 thousand. Okay, now debt service coverage ratio is 1.67. This is very important if you're borrowing money from the bank. This is what they care about. They want to know how much operating income do you have and what is the amount of debt you're going to have to pay every month, and that needs to be above one. And that's it. Now, there's also um, a reverse calculation of that where you go debt divided by um, NOI, and that shows you how much your debt is relative to. So it says of your total NOI, 60% of it is debt service to cover it. And in this case, the lower the number, the better. In this case, higher, better. So higher, better. Here, in this case, lower is better. So, for example, what if this was 10,000? Well... That's only about 4% of my NOI, and it's a 25 multiple, or I mean, uh, a ratio for debt service coverage. And then this calculation would be um, debt to income. All right, so that's it. This is the main one that you usually see. This I'll put this in bold here. Debt service coverage ratio. It's typical. You see it in a lot of real estate calculations, but it's also for for ongoing businesses that are trying to get loans and stuff. They're going to look at um, your operating income against your debt to make sure you're essentially can pay your um, principal and interest on any loans that you have from the bank. Now I will offer um, a free Google Sheet that has this. I'll upload it now. It'll be in the description box below. And don't forget, um, check out more models at smarthelping.com. I've got all kinds of stuff here. Um, software as a service startup models, real estate operating and underwriting tools for all kinds of different commercial and, and residential real estate 
um, deals. All of these, or most of them, include joint venture. All the big ones do. Um, Industry-specific models for all kinds of different businesses. Um, joint venture distribution waterfalls. Accounting tools to track accounts receivable, payable, inventory, uh, volume discount pricing, accounting ratios. Debt service coverage would actually be one of the ratios included in this. There's like 50 other ones. Um, cash conversion cycle tracking. Uh, cost of goods sold, FIFO-based uh, inventory valuation. This is a very good one. Um, all sorts of stuff I've built over the years here. I've got it all organized. Check it out. Um, and you can buy everything on the whole site for $9.99. And that's a lifetime access, meaning you get it. Um, no matter what I add to it in the future, you have access to it at no extra charge. So it's a lifetime license to anything I build, essentially. Alrighty, well, that's all I got for you on this one. I'm doing helpful free videos uh, every time I make a sale on the site. So I've got three more I got to do today, and uh, we'll keep going on this. See you guys on the next one.